After a few strained years, the red carpet is being dusted off as the EU and US are getting ready to meet in person this Tuesday for a joint summit. On the agenda, the transatlantic trade war triggered by the Trump era and still not put to bed. Former EU ambassador to the US, David O'Sullivan, believes the problems won't be solved at the summit, but progress will be made. The first is, of course, the Airbus Boeing, which has been litigated in the WTO uh, for the last 17 years. Uh, I think it is time now to negotiate a settlement. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, but the time is, is short. We need to try and find a solution uh, in, the, in the next weeks. We have the steel and aluminium tariffs, uh, which we think were very unfairly imposed on, on European exporters by the Trump administration using the pretext of national security. Uh, we really want to see those eliminated, uh, but we have to figure out uh, what is needed from the American side to feel that they can comfortably row back on, on that decision. As well as trade, China will be the big talking point in the room with the US hoping to bring the Europeans in line on their start and encourage them to keep the EU-China investment plan on ice. During the weekend's G7 meeting, some progress was made to better counteract China's economic rise, where the European Commission president made it clear to Euronews what the EU's position is. We know there are fields where we do cooperate, for example, the fight against climate change. Then in the economic field, we are competitors. There are parts where we cooperate, but there are other parts where we, we are strong competitors. And for that, we also, as G7, know that we need to have our tools, for example, a 5G toolbox or foreign direct investment screening um, and other tools. And then there's uh, the third part, and that is an important one. It's about fundamental rights, human values and democracy. And here it's very clear. Here we are systemic rivals without any question. Leaders will discuss common ways to address the rise of China as a tech superpower. The Trade and Tech Council would set up EU-US working groups in fields like cybersecurity and technology platforms. Tricky issues surrounding privacy between the EU and US will also come up. Of course, we have the privacy shield, the data transfer, uh, which was struck down yet again by the Court of Justice uh, and which needs to be replaced. Uh, those talks are also ongoing, vital for industry to be able to transfer data across the Atlantic. The EU-US summit will also touch upon the pandemic and on supporting a joint probe into the origins of COVID-19 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Chris Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.